Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2021 wish list. Uh, if you've been following me, you probably have seen that I actually got my Holy Grail bag, the Birkin 30, um, a few days ago. So I don't really have that many big ticket items on my wish list anymore. That was like the bag that I wanted for the longest time. So all of these items are just kind of like nice to have, but not really items that I absolutely need for the coming year. Um, before I get started with my list, I just wanted to describe my goals for the year. So my first goal is to spend less time obsessing over handbags and spend more time really enjoying the process of discovering and purchasing luxury goods. Um, the reason I say this is because 2020 was a really difficult year for me with COVID and everything and I was like really depressed and I was using handbags and luxury goods as a way to escape from my life and it became really unhealthy because I was like spending hours and hours shopping, um, watching videos and like scrolling through Instagram, um, browsing purse forum, all of these things and it didn't really add to my happiness. On top of that, I kept going through stores, spending money, and then the happiness only lasts you know, a few days and after you kind of lose this novelty feeling of a new bag, and then you, you seek another like, item and so on. And so I just want to put an end to that. Now that I have my Birkin, I, I know that you know, this is like the ultimate bag that I personally would want for my lifetime and I don't really need to work so hard to buy bags anymore. I also just want to like take it easy, relax and go shopping and not feel pressure to buy anything and now that I have a pretty good relationship with my SA and at my local boutique, um, I think I can just walk in and, and not feel the pressure to have to drop like thousands of dollars every time I go. The second goal I have is to spend less money on handbags, of course, and clothes in general. And this is because with COVID and who knows when it's going to end, I barely have opportunities to use my bags or to wear my clothes. And so I don't really need any new clothes. Um, and I really don't need any new bags. I already have so many new bags that I got in the last six months that I really need to use a lot more. Um, the last goal I have is to build a minimalistic wardrobe. So this is twofold. First, I have to get rid of clothes I no longer wear and no longer love. So of course, I could donate them, give them away, um, sell them, what have you. Second, I need to curate pieces that I absolutely love, um, high quality, and that can last a really long time and are easy to mix and match with. Um, so for example, like plain black t-shirts, plain white t-shirts, uh, plain black jeans, this sort of thing. So now I'm going to go on and show you my wish list. So um, probably not a surprise to a lot of you, my first item is an Hermes Kelly 28. I decided on the size 28 because I really love the Birkin size 30 and I wasn't sure. I was really like debating between a 28 and a 32. And I thought, okay, actually I'll go for a 28 because it's a bit smaller and most of my bags tend to be a bit bigger. And so it would be a, probably a little bit more practical. Also, I've heard that Kelly's are a bit heavy. And so it would be nice to have a lighter bag in that sense. For the leather, I would love to get Togo because I don't have any leather in Togo yet. And I would love to see how it, it looks like and add a piece in Togo to my collection. Um, in terms of color, I really want E10, so this tin color, it's like more gray than the E2 because E2 has some brown undertones, I would say. So I would love to have a more like grayish color. So any colors from the gray family will do actually. Or I would really love to have this midnight blue color. I think it looks gorgeous and it's really close to black, but in certain lighting conditions, it looks very blue. So I really like that feature as well. So this is probably my, my top pick actually. In terms of hardware, I'm not really picky, but since all of my bags are in palladium hardware, it would be nice to also have one in gold, just so like 
I can have the best of both worlds because I don't plan to have more than one Kelly. I don't plan to have more than one Birkin. So if I'm going to have only one of each, it would be interesting to also try a Kelly with gold hardware, for example. And in terms of my strategy um, for buying this bag, I think I would prefer to buy it from the boutique just because it would be cheaper than buying it from a reseller, obviously. And now that I have a good relationship with my essay, I think I would probably be able to get an offer probably um, within the year or two maximum. So, I, and I'm of course like very open and willing to wait. Um, so if I'm buying from the boutique, then I would definitely opt for the 28 because it'll be a couple hundred bucks cheaper than a 32. So on the flip side, I could go the pre-loved route and buy a 32 because in the pre-loved market, bigger bags are not as in demand, so they tend to sell for cheaper. So you can actually find really um, big bags in good condition for quite a low price. So I've seen like Kelly 32s for um, 6,000 bucks, like 7,000, like, you know, quite a big discount from retail. And they're also in really good condition. So um, if I were to go pre-loved, definitely go with the 32. So really now it's just a question of whether I will get offered a 28 or whether I just plan to buy a pre-loved one and save a couple of thousand bucks off retail. Um, if I do plan to buy a Kelly this year, I probably will um, tell my essay sometime um, in the summer so she can start like working so i don't know what she does uh, on the back end but you know putting me on the wish list and so on um the only, the reason i say this is because the way ms works is that they have two seasons um first january to june and then july to december and twice a year the store manager will go to paris and do all of the buying for the store for the season so if you place your wish with your essay um, they will account for that when they're doing their shopping in Paris. Um, so actually, when I went to my boutique and told my essay in August I wanted a Birkin, she told me, oh, you just missed the window, and now you're going to have to wait till January. And, you know, I was prepared, so I didn't actually expect my Birkin to come so soon. I thought it would take probably like a year or more. So um, since I had such a good experience, and assuming that things don't change, um, if I were to give um, my essay notice in June-ish, I, I would expect to have the bag by either the end of 2021 or sometime in early 2020, I mean, sorry, 2022. And at that point, I would be comfortable with buying um, another bag from Hermes, like at this price range. Um, I don't want to buy one too, too soon just because it's a lot of money. And I just bought a Birkin and I barely had a chance to use it yet. So I don't really want to have like another high ticket item um, added to my collection uh, so soon. So definitely I'm going to wait like at least uh, up to a year before I consider buying a Kelly. But this is definitely a bag that I want to buy and have in my collection for life. So I don't see it as a frivolous um, spending. I just think it's, you know, me taking the time to invest in a bag that I love now and reaping the rewards for years and years to come. Um, yes, now the second item on my wish list. You can probably already guess uh, from my other videos if you watched them. I have a Pico Tune 18 and 22. And I mentioned like a few times already that I really want the 26. The reason for this is because like the 26 is such a rare size. I almost never see anyone with it. And I just think it's like so unique and cute. I love how slouchy it is. I love how big it is. I love how it's just like a big smooshy bag um, where you can throw anything you want in it. Um, and I think it really goes with my style. Uh, as I mentioned, I have an 18 and 22 and I opt for both like for different reasons. So the 18 is more of a, in my opinion, like a fancy bag for evenings or, you know, like more fancy occasions, I would say, because uh, it's just so tiny. It looks, for me, it doesn't look casual. Um, and then the 22, I really love opting for this bag whenever I run out, like to run errands, do groceries, that sort of thing. Um, and so I think a 26 would be perfect if I needed to run errands and like needed a bigger bag. Um, 
so for example even like going on a weekend trip or going to the beach or something where I really need to carry a lot of stuff I think a 26 would be perfect for that and I just love like the look um, I've seen pictures of people carrying it on the shoulder and I and actually this is the only picotin that is meant to be carried on the shoulder because the 22 although 22 does fit on my shoulder it's not supposed to be used as a shoulder bag so it would be nice to have one pico thing that's actually meant to be a shoulder bag and that's my justification in terms of um timeline i'm not in any rush to buy this bag um just because i have so many bags and but this is definitely a bag i want to add to my collection to complete it um and after that i probably won't be buying hermes bags like for a really long time or maybe even for the rest of my life who knows it depends really um, on how things go but um, I definitely would get this from the pre-loved market because I've been browsing and you can get some pretty good quality used uh, Picotin 26s for like less than two thousand dollars so I would um, if I can find a bag in a more like brownish tone like this one this is called gold um, I would definitely buy it or maybe in a dark blue um, yes, so I would only buy it this year if I come across a bag that's in really good condition, in a color that I love, and also is under $2,000. I don't really want to go over the $2,000 limit for this bag. So the next item on my wish list is Hermes Fine Jewelry. I don't really wear a lot of jewelry. Um, I have the Cartier Love Ring and Bracelet, and I, my wedding ring is from Tiffany. And that's it. I don't have any other uh, fine jewelry. So it would be interesting for me to dabble a little bit with Hermes fine jewelry. Um, I think their fine jewelry pieces are so cute. And this particular one that I'm showing you here is one that I've been kind of eyeing for a while. It's um, Ferrandol, I think the name is. And I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, it's like featuring the little chains. Uh, it also has a bracelet, but... I don't think the bracelet would go well with my love bracelet, so that is out of the question. But I do love the earrings. Like, I really love studs and just simple earrings, and I think these will look great. But I'm not sure if they'll be too big for my ears, because I tend to have kind of smaller earlobes. So yeah, I would definitely have to see them first in real life to determine if I want to buy them. And if I do buy them, then I would like the matching necklace as well. Um, but yeah, this I, these items... I don't know if I will buy them this year or uh, at all. It's just kind of a nice to have. And if one day I do want to have like fancier jewelry besides my ring and bracelet. Um, and then item number four, a Chanel tweed suit. I love Chanel tweed suits. I've been like in love with them since, uh, you know, I was like a teenager and it's always been a dream to own one. Um, I really love like neutral colored um, tweed suits. So kind of like in the middle here, the cream color with the contrast black stitching. I love that. Um, I also wouldn't mind like a darker grayish, blackish, dark bluish kind of mix. But for me, I really need something that's like very neutral. I don't like wearing bright colors. Um, and then in terms of... Uh, where I'd buy it from, I definitely would not pay retail. I think the prices are insane. I think one suit is probably at least $5,000 or more, and I just can't justify that. So I wouldn't mind going the pre loved route for this as well. I've seen like pretty good condition uh, Chanel tweed suits going for maybe $1,500 to up to $5,000. Um, on the pre loved market, so if I can find something, maybe. $2,000 and under, I would buy it. Um, but definitely probably not this year because I just, as I said, I don't need new clothes at the moment. And um, I just don't really foresee any occasion that I would be needing a suit like this for the coming year. So maybe like next year or in a few years from now, um, I would consider buying one. And only if I can find like one that really fits well, that's in good quality and is that a favorable uh, price point and then finally I have the St. James Breton shirt so in French it's like Marinier um, I would love to have this in navy blue and white and just because I think like a striped shirt is a staple item for a 
capsule wardrobe, which is what I plan to build. Um, I think this kind of stripy shirt is like so casual, but also very chic. And it can go well with everything. It can go with jeans, with pants, with skirts, what have you. Um, so it's definitely something I want to buy. And the price point is not too bad. I think it's like $80. So I probably would even buy this this year. Maybe once it gets a little bit warmer, I would buy one. Um, yeah. Or maybe when things start opening up again and COVID, like, is finally over, I will buy one so I can actually wear it um, to my heart's content. And now I have like two more items that I didn't make a separate slide for because these are really just big, big maybes. One thing I would really love is an MS belt. Um, I, would, I would really love the one that has black on one side and a tube on the other side just so I could easily match it with my black and A-tube bags because all my bags are black or A-tube. Um, however, the reason I haven't really bought a belt from Hermes yet is because I don't like the buckles because most of the buckles have like a big H sign or like are just kind of too bling bling for me. And the one I have displayed here is the only one that in my opinion is like low key and not really super bling bling. Um, but I'm not sure if this would actually go with the rest of my outfit. So I would definitely have to try it on. Um, and then I'll make my decision. The other item here is the Oasis sandals. I have the black ones. I bought them last fall. And I actually never had a chance to wear them yet. Um, but I thought that like having black or red sandals and matching it with my black bags would be really nice. So I would also love to have a pair of A-tube to match with my A2 bags, but I don't know if MS actually makes these sandals in A2 because I've never seen them on the website and I have, um, I, I did a Google search and I also didn't see anything. So I'm not even sure if they actually come in the color A2, but I wish they did because then I would consider buying it for sure um, once I know that I actually like them. So I'll probably take the black sandals out when the summer comes and wear them a bit and see if I like them and if I do I might consider like way down the road buying another pair in YouTube just to complete my wardrobe um yes so uh thank you for listening and watching uh, my video and um yes so basically I don't really have any items that I'm super urgently trying to buy this year all of these are just kind of nice to have and maybe items that I'll add to my collection within the next five years or something like this. So um, I hope that this video was entertaining for you or maybe you had some inspiration from me. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts uh, in the comments. So um, talk to you another time. Ciao.